All right, hello everybody, it's the Cinemat Haven here today, and I'm going to want to drag you guys with me taking a look at the uh, update that's coming out on uh, February 15th of 2022, so it's like, yeah, if you guys catch this way down the road, you're, you're just, no, they're, they're already in the game. <laughs> Alrighty, but starting off, hey, how you guys doing? I'm waiting for my tea to, uh, you know, completely heat up and get everything going. But, first things first, they're adding a new map. Well, they're bringing back an old map. Great Wall. Remastered maps, World War II. Available to Tier 5 to 10. I'm actually excited to be seeing this map coming back to the game. So, Environmental Summer. It's actually nice that they're bringing back the summer variation rather than leaving a winter variation in the game for months and months and months and months and months and months. Melanovka, I want the summer variation back. I'm getting really sick of fighting down on the riverbed that's covered in ice. Um, Commander customization. I'm actually I have not yet read over read over this yet. So I've been looking at a couple of things. Um, I remember reading somewhere that they might make it to where it's silver to change your perks. I could be wrong though. Could be extremely wrong. Okay, I like how they show off nothing but Cold War. Okay, don't care. Where's Commander Customization? I'm not a big fan of Cold War. End report. Okay, why have a link? Oh, multiple weapon system. I Guys, I'm a Muppet. Okay, so Commander Customization. Are they just talking about, like... Okay, change your commander's name and voice at any time. This feature is available for all 2D and 3D commanders except licensed ones. So, for instance, um, the Hot Wheels Commanders, uh, the G.I. Joe Commanders, um, the Wrestling Commanders, those will not be able to be changed. Uh, for you to add an extra layer of authenticity to your aces. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Well, I guess there's not really a whole lot going on except for this. I mentioned this a little bit ago. Um, I believe I mentioned it in one of the EBR videos that I had uh, early information dropped me. So, yeah, th this is actually... I'm super stoked. So, um, the uh, E100, they're actually doing the buff on the turret like I've wanted forever. Along with that, they're increasing the reload of the 12.8, which really, using the 12.8 over the 15, um, I've used the 12.8 and I've aced the tank multiple times with the 12.8. So this reload buff, it might be a lot, might be a huge amount. Um, up next, the E75, they're making the stock grind a little bit easier, including uh, increasing the reload of the 88. And the 105, increasing the reload of that as well. Just a lot of DPMs across the board. And then they're doing this. The one thing I said that they probably don't want to do, because this is going to make it to where one of the E75 goes hauled down, 340 heat pin will struggle to pin that frontal armor because of 8 degrees of gun depression. It's going to be an effective of like 360 now, rather than an effective 310 to, um, what was it, 290? So yeah, that's a big jump in armor. And they're also increasing the aim time of the 12.8, not really changing the DPM of the final gun. So this gun's going to be extremely snappy now. Um, the Tier 8 Tigers, they're basically bringing over what they did to the Captured King Tiger, which I was a really big fan of. And, yeah, there's a lot of small things that they're doing that are going to be making a really big difference. As I'm going to be a Muppet, and remember that my green screen absolutely hates my uh, room light. Okay. Um, yeah, the Tiger 2. They're basically bringing it back up to par to where it should be. And along with that, they're going to be increasing the reload of the main gun. So the Tiger 2, essentially, I would actually rather grind out the Tiger 2 and keep that as like a keeper tank. Because it's going to play the same way as the uh, actual King Tiger, the premium variation. And the American Captured King Tiger. So that's basically two premiums in one, just without the silver bonus. But this tank is going to be definitely competitive again. Now that they're doing this. Along with that, the uh, tier 7, they're increasing the uh, all gun mantles and the roof armor. So the uh, final turret, roof armor, 35 millimeters. So that's going to be able to bounce a 105. So it's going to be able to bounce a... Yeah, it's going to be able to bounce 
the brain fart of a brain fart the t29 there we go so whenever you're top tier it's not going to be as easy to actually damage that tank they're going to make it a little bit better um for the derp gun they're also redoing the he and ap they're swapping them um i remember reading about this from uh, what was sent to me by the super tester saying that they're going to be doing this for newer players because its damage is too low so they're thinking that people are shooting ap because that's a standard ammo type when they want them to shoot HE out of it, but the the way I look at it, there's not really going to be that big of a difference whenever it comes down to it. Uh, one thing I don't like about what they're doing to the Tiger 2 is they're just increasing the penetration on the uh, smaller 88, but decreasing the DPN. So that makes me wonder. The fully upgraded 88... This is the tier 7 Tiger, 88 centimeter pack, 36. Are they just doing a, um... Is, that's not the fully upgraded gun. I would like to see a 280 alpha on this tank, too. A little bit longer, uh, increased at reloads. And then the VK36, I was actually getting ready to buy this back yesterday. So the buff that they're putting on this is going to be actually really cool being able to jump back into it. Because this is one of my favorite tanks at tier 6, um, during beta. And as a recent, I've been wanting to uh, pull it out and have some fun with it again. So yeah, now that they're doing the uh, gun mental buff on it, I should pull it out. Um, the tier 5, they removed the 5 centimeter, uh, removed a 75, improved the accuracy of another gun. Yeah, nothing really crazy, just lots of stuff getting removed. Reordered ammo types, accuracy improvements. It's, it's tier 5, I don't play tier 5. Just because I feel like I'm way too mean playing in the lower tiers. And then for the, uh, yeah, the premium King Tiger, there we go. And then the Hammer is also receiving the armor buff as well. And Smooth Man, which is a mercenary vehicle, view range, 350, health from... <laughs> Let's improve the health by 30 hit points. It's still going to take two shots to kill this guy. So I don't really see the benefits of increasing that health. And then they're going to be doing on track for a little bit. So that's going to be nice. Now... Okay, getting into it, E100 buff, I've been super excited about this thing for a long time. I've been waiting for the E100 to get massive buffs for a while. This is one of those tanks that has been in the game for so long, and ever since they converted um, ammunition from gold to silver, it has suffered tremendously. Playing it is just being hard. It's a difficult tank to get and really learn how to play but now with this armor buff you can kind of treat it a little bit like a mini mouse so angling your turret you're going to want to angle your turret um the tiger 2 however keep in mind you guys if you guys do have the tiger 2 and you want to play that against tier 9s and tier 10s anything with over 300 millimeters of heat they are going to be able to um just go through your armor like you have no armor so, for instance, as I'm just pulling this up and having a brain fart, and if you guys are catching this as you're waiting for the servers to come up, then, yeah, you got something to watch for a split sec. Uh, live comparison here with the uh, Tiger. So this is basically the buffed version. We got the 245 in the gun mantle, 120 side armor. Honestly, the way that they're putting these together right now is amazing. However, the under armor right here is still only 25 millimeters, so be careful of that. Um, this is also angled towards the enemy, so if you're coming over a hill, you can get tracked and damaged by any gun in this tier category. Unless it's a 75mm. So like Panthers, but they're 75s, that, that'll bounce, but that's very specific. Um, yeah, if you guys want to know something, reverse side scraping inside Tigers is actually way better, because you hide that weak spot. Now, let's go ahead, just line this up front. We're going to do compare. Let's compare it to... The American Heavy Tank, Tier 8, T77. There we go. So this is 299 heat pen. As I said, the entire front of the tank becomes useless. Even if you're maxing out your gun depression as much as you can, 
it's still only 280 to 300 in some areas. So 340 heat pin is just going to be mowing through this like it's all green. Um, coming over at a deeper angle, however, as I'm struggling to get the turret on point. There we go. Just going to call it good right here. Um, this, so coming up at a deeper angle, 26 degrees to be specific, um, is going to make your top plate 340 to... Uh, whatever it is effective so for if you're playing at the top tier never come over a hill straight on try and come over a little bit slanted and get that top plate over to uh give you that extra hand advantage against heat rounds against ap and apcr though uh they're still gonna have a weak spot right here but thickening up that top plate against players firing heat rounds is going to be your best bet now for anyone who does care the lower plate improvements there was none but the top plate yeah, it's definitely going to be a big improvement. Other than that, you guys, if you liked the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Um, I know this was pretty quick and going over just a tad bit, but the E100 line, I'll go in further detail into that another day or maybe even later today on stream and then do a recording there and try and get some matches inside of them and then go over how I feel about the E100. But honestly, that E100 is going to stand proud over the next couple of days that thing is going to be so much fun and you're going to be seeing a lot of them in the matchmaker um, along with that you're more than likely going to be seeing me in the e75 uh, testing out that turret armor improvement and seeing how much i can bounce with 265 rather than 252 so other than that you guys have a great day afternoon night whatever time it is for you i will see you guys all on the battlefield